Kids, welcome to Funky Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her assistant, Nelly Welly. And today we have a new experiment for you. Do, 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 do. But before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. A tornado is a tube of violently spinning air that touches the ground. Wind inside the tornado spins fast, but the actual circle of wind around them is huge. Tornadoes mostly happen during strong thunderstorms. They cause a lot of damage to anything in their path. This is what we require. Water, a clear plastic bottle with a cup, and food coloring. And remember kids, always do this experiment with the supervision of an adult. Safety first, always. So now you're ready. Yes. You ready to start? Yes. So what we're going to do to make our tornado, mm -hmm. take the bottle, mm -hmm. and then I'd like you to pour water into it, the, our colored water into it. Be gentle. Mm -hmm. Then pour it till it's like half, um, half of the bottle. Continue. Still not yet there. Go on. Go on. Go on. Do you think it's enough now? Yes. Okay. Is it happening anyway? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine? Yes. Yeah. So you're going to swirl the bottle like this. Mm -hmm. see? And then you're going to turn it upside down and then let the water flow and see what forms there. Eh? Yeah. So you remember. Swirl and then turn. turn. Okay. Go ahead. Swirl the top. Gently. I'm trying to tell you. I can see a tornado. Yeah. <laughs> Spinning the bottle in a circular motion creates a water vortex that is like a mini tornado. The water is rapidly spinning around the center of the vortex due to centripetal force. Centripetal force is an inward force directing an object or a fluid such as water towards the center of its circular path. I hope you at home are able to make your own tornado. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!